Formula One heads to the Lone Star State of Texas as the USA hosts Round 18 of the World Championship. Located southeast of Austin, the Circuit of the Americas was opened in 2012 and is the first purpose-built F1 facility in the US. The 20-turn anti-clockwise track draws inspiration from some of the best circuits around the world, as well as taking advantage of the site's natural topography, including the steep uphill run into the Turn 1 hairpin, which has become the venue's signature corner. The track is a huge challenge, with echoes of Silverstone, Hockenheim, and even the epic multi-apex Turn 8 of Istanbul Park. Heavy rain fell last year, making things extra tricky for Lewis Hamilton, as he tackled the five and a half kilometer roller coaster. Let's take a ride with the reigning world champion. So wet conditions throw up much bigger challenges for the driver. You can see Lewis pulling the car across to the left and middle of the circuit, following the tracks of the previous car. This is to try and avoid puddles and to reduce the resistance as he accelerates up into turn one. He takes the wide line, which is what we refer to in the industry as the karting line. This is where you position the car off the regular racing line, avoiding the rubber that's already been laid down. Into this high speed section of corners, three, four, five, it's all fantastically quick in the dry. In the wet, it's really a case of living on your wits. Again, you can see the previous tracks that have been created from the car before. As the topography of the circuit means that you have some running water across the track, you'll see some momentarily kicks of oversteer and aquaplaning through the kink which is absolutely flat at turn 10 in the dry has to be a bit more feathering on the throttle breaks down again on a wide line at the hairpin in turn 11 and then he comes on to the long back straight this is the point for him to glance at his lap delta see whether the lap time is better than his previous wet lap have a look around gauge whether the circuit is wetter than the previous lap and then spot the braking down massive amount of g-force even in the wet down into turn 12 Lewis Hamilton is famed for being one of the better drivers in the wet. Again, you can see that wide line as he goes through the kink at 13. And then into this little tricky infield section. Again in the dry, this very wide line cutting back to the apex, trying to feather the power as much as possible as he powers out into this long right-hander. Again in the dry, this would be absolutely flat, not possible in the wet, watching out for that massive kick of oversteer which can come when you're building speed with lateral load in the wet. A lot of curb use you can see through 19 that shows his confidence is absolutely there as he breaks down into 20. Kick of understeer, rolls it through the apex, some cars ahead, that makes spray and visibility more difficult. But in this instance, a beautifully driven wet lap.